Help will exist. And where those who did not want him are not allowed in, all of a sudden you've got problems. Okay. Yep. That's it. Oh. And that's what's happening here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And notice what the council saw in verse 13. Now they observed the confidence. Mm. Do you have confidence in Jesus? Amen. Now I don't mean weirdoism in Jesus. I got to tell you, the weird stuff I have is just mine. Because I was weird before Jesus found me, and I'm weird now, and I'll probably be weird in heaven, because that's the way I am. We'll all be up there with white robes, and I'll be up there with a tie-dyed sash around mine. Just a little bit. But notice the confidence of Peter and John and understood that they were uneducated and untrained men. They were marveling and began to recognize, notice that word, yes. them as having been with Jesus. Mm -hmm. There's nobody around to protect them. It's just them. And they aren't stepping down and saying, well, you know, in my humble opinion, you could disagree and that's okay, but in my opinion, Jesus is the only way. If you found another way that works for you, that's fine. We'll sit together and just talk about this. Nor were they rude. They didn't take their versions of the scroll because they didn't have the Bible like we have today. It was in scroll form. And start beating them saying, you need Jesus! And they weren't mean. They were just confident. Confidence is a scary and intimidating thing. Mm -hmm. When you look somebody in the eye and they accept you the way that you are, but they have no plans of changing who they are, all of a sudden you're either going to like them or hate them because that confidence can be intimidating. Mm -hmm. When they're able to speak softly and graciously, mm -hmm. honestly, and firmly. Something in us shakes because we are so used to putting on a front in front of other people that when somebody comes and they just are who they are, it shakes the reality of who we are. And these religious men had built a facade around themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus said these were the ones who loved to have the preeminence of the table. These are the ones who love to make grand prayers. These are the ones who, when they put their money in, made sure everybody was looking. That's why we have a box. Nobody's looking. Nobody cares. If you're giving money to be impressed me, you're wasting your time. I don't even see it. Keep giving it because we're spending it. Just give it for the right motives. <laughs> they built this facade of religiosity. And all of a sudden, here's these two guys wearing 501 jeans, Birkenstocks, and t-shirts. Here they are wearing these shirts and just being normal. I mean, you want to mess with religious people, just be happy. That's right. That's right. They observed their confidence in who they were and it was shaking the very foundation of a religious system that had been built to protect and to hide behind. Mm -hmm. yep. They noticed that they had not gone to the best schools. They did not have the best pedigree. They did not have all the right stuff. They were just normal. Uh -huh. yep. But notice what else. They began to marvel because they realized. Mm -hmm. You ever had something finally dawn on you? Mm -hmm. Something that people have been telling you for years and you didn't even find all of a sudden, oh yeah. That makes sense. If I spend more than I bring in, I'm in trouble. Yeah. I remember when that finally hit me. <laughs> Capital One years ago helped me with that lesson. <laughs> Anybody else learn that lesson? Yeah. That's a weird lesson to learn. It finally dawns on you. Well, no wonder I'm in trouble. It's not what I'm, what I'm making is a problem. It's what I'm spending that's the problem. They're not the same. That sort of sense of Oh, yeah. I get it now. That's the word for recognize. These men were like, oh, yeah, we get it now. They've been with Jesus. Mm -hmm. This idea that people don't want Jesus.
Jesus is a lie from the enemy that the church has been selling to itself for far too long. People want Jesus. People are hurting. They are broken. They are bruised. They have no hope. They want Jesus. The problem is what we've been selling them is religion. What we've been selling them for us is the assemblies of God. Now, make no mistake, we're part of the assemblies of God, but I'll say it again in case you weren't here that day. We do not serve the assemblies of God. Right. We serve the God of the assembly. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. I have no problem with the way things are run. Mm -hmm. No axe to grind. Mm -hmm. But I want people to know Jesus. Yeah. I don't care if they become assembly of God or Baptist or Lutheran. 